What is going on? Welcome back to another barrel pick video, a little travel esque video. If you guys like these, we'll do them when we go. If you don't like them, then we won't because they are extra work. So, but let us know in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe while you're here. So, first thing first, do a little packing. Got a little stuff right here. Old Forster 117 tripod, other camera, sunglasses. Got a couple coins for a couple people that we're going to meet. But, needless to say, flip her around. So, we're gonna um, go do our bullet pick in person. So we got to do a bullet pick with samples. This is going to be an in-person bullet pick. Quick trip down, uh, down tonight. Barrel picks tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. And yeah, the Spurgoos are coming with us. So you're gonna see Chris and Brandon. <sighs> Listen, I know Matt's world's top whiskey taster, but Brandon is like the world's top whiskey palate. I don't have a better name. I'm not, apparently I'm not feeling creative. All right, I love you guys. Let's get this stuff in the truck. I gotta get a tattoo first. We're gonna get some color on that right there. Gonna get that filled in. And then head to Sean's, meet Chris and Brandon and Sean. Then we're heading down to Kentucky. Okay. All right, just like that, it's done. So now we drive to Sean's house. And then we leave for Kentucky. Three hours later. Quick stop, little pit stop action. We're going in here. We've never been to these places, but um, we've had like, we've seen store picks from them before. So we stopped at Gay's Hops and Schnapps. Schnapps, probably Schnapps, that rhyme. We stopped here. We're gonna go in. We're in Indiana, so hell yeah. Hell yeah. See you guys in a little bit. We'll show you what we bought, if we buy things. All right, so we stopped in at Gay's. We got some We got some store pick action. We got an old scout, old elk. We got a bullet, and we got a baker's. I didn't even know they did baker's uh, picks, but we got them. Currently in the middle of nowhere, trying not to die. Dan's left the truck running while pumping gas, so it's gonna be the end. We'll find out. But uh, we're gonna keep driving get close to bullet and then find a hotel room and then still try not to die. See you soon. I'm glad they couldn't hear you because it looks like you're about to be shooting a porno. The noises were fantastic. How are you guys doing? Sean well, and I are in a hotel. That's the only bed that he's sitting on right there and that is a full if I've ever seen one. Paint me like one of your friends, girls. Not enough paint in the So we're in Kentucky. I almost said Ohio. We're in Kentucky. And now, tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., we go to Bullet we pick Holy multiple God. rounds, maybe. Who knows? Get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Yeah, I got a bloody nose in your car. I didn't think I did. Oh, Sean just That's bled blood. my car. All blood. How dare you make me bleed my own blood? So, Sean thought that this was a store pick idiot wasn't <laughs> he paid was. 75 dollars for it i knew this was a store pick was correct hot trash it's it's just not very good so uh i know you guys like the hotel lighting all we gotta do is steal a lamp is what i just learned we gotta wake up 9 30 eat food go pick a barrel and then go back to louisville get our new rift barrel like the physical barrel and then do a climb maze pick and so we'll see you guys in the morning you want to show me your stupid knife it's morning time. Sean's awake before we're supposed to leave this time. I was up before you this Not time. Not true. Oh, 100% true. 1,000% true. true. We're going to go to Bullet. And, well, I'm going to get Taco Bell breakfast, if I'm being completely honest. Because you're going to make us late. You're not going to eat? Sean's already in a bad mood because he well, woke up. Yes. Every day Sean wakes up, he's every day he wakes up, he's in a bad fucking mood. Uh, I did, dummy. We don't have time, and he's still the last one. I know, we're still waiting for Sean, yeah. weirdly. I'm close to the door. See ya, bullet. No, no, probably not. This is the address. This is the exact address Ryan gave me. Where are we? Where are we? Um, this is not right. I don't. 
This is. I don't, we can go back there. Doesn't feel right. No, it doesn't. We'll be back. And uh, we followed the GPS and it took her down yeah. the old trucker it lane. Takes you. Yeah, so go back, go back to thirty four sixty four. All right. Google, it takes you to the other entrance. We just we just talked lane. to Diageo Security, so <laughs> <laughs> we will. Uh, yeah, just come we'll back. Right You'll there. see the big sign on the road. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Bye. Distillery operations. We're almost there. <laughs> so we're like, I'll distill your operations. Yeah, bro. For the fourth time. For the first time. You made it. This direction behind our property, and it's the local body of water for the whole county. So when we built here, we had to be really mindful about not over consuming on natural resources and creating a burden to the community around us. Uh, the retention pond helps us to only draw off as much as we need to function every day. And we've implemented lots of different practices in our production to make sure that we're reducing uh, our water consumption as much as possible. Similarly, we have solar panels all over the property that are going to be capturing clean energy and routing it back to the county power grid. Um, it's not going to capture enough to completely replace what we're using, but it is going to subsidize a lot of the energy that we're drawing off. So that's going to be a big deal as well. So we've got two of these 10,000 gallon mash cookers down on the second floor. We cook them at the same time, combine them into one 20,000 gallon fermenter. And we do that about four times a day because we're trying to fill four fermenters every 24 hours. So eight batches of mash every day. Uh, we take the liquid, the water in the back set that's in there and we heat it up to 120 degrees. And then we start dropping our grains in, starting with corn. Now corn goes in first and by itself because it's going to cook at the highest temperature. So once we drop the corn, we kick the tank up to 210 degrees and we hold it there for about 20 minutes. After that passes, we drop the tank to 177 degrees and add our rye, hold it for another 20 minutes, drop it one more time to 147 degrees and add the malt to barley. What? You're yeah, so you're needy. Right. Why? Like can't or smell like All right, can't tell can't everybody what we pick. Uh, we pick two barrels. Number two. And number five. And number five. So Dan flip flop to my favorite no. of the first round. No, you and I both agreed to was our favorite of the first round. It's on paper. Okay. And then we went and took the, the original one, added a couple of the, the same yeast strain. So we had the Different same barrels. variation. Different barrels, but it's the exact same mash bill and yeast drain. And then went through there. We couldn't decide two of them. We were tied between two. Dan went back, tasted the other one, flip flop, made it worse. Uh, made and it then better. just decided to get two of them. If we're all being honest, mine's better. No. More complex, drastically. No, not. Here's a definite Brandon, Which one? one's better? Two or five? Don't say five, Brandon. Hey. <laughs> Brandon looks right at me like, I don't want to say five. <laughs> two is my favorite. The nose on two is better. The nose on two is better. You know, you heard it here, folks. I think the palate's way more complex than five. I think five. Two is spicier than five. Five two is sweeter. Two. When you add water to two, it's spicy. It is. Mm. Yep. Which one did you like? I was heavy on on two. Two. Yeah. Yeah. See? I mean. Man, you guys are just wrong. It's just me and Chris over here. Everyone is like, two, two, three, four. I know, I know. Tell them first favorite and second favorite, which were just mixed. Opposite, yeah. yeah or opposite. So you're going to see some uh, labels that'll probably represent that. All right, so we're going to go Smoke. outside. Do terrible things. And have whiskey. Cheers. 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 Hey, thanks Cheers. for being here. Yay. Cheers, thanks Ryan. Thanks for asking us. Cheers, guys. Thanks, buddy. Let's go Yay. smoke a cigar. I agree. I'm in on that. All right, we're going to get a cigar. Removed from smoking Cheers, Brandon. The bullet pick was really cool. It offered a very different experience again from Starlight and New Riff. Um, seeing what Bullet has done, especially when they came from basically sourcing whiskey, is absolutely insane. The size of the place, the automation that they have going on there, the level of technology they have, that's the first distillery we've seen with that amount of technology in it. So honestly, it's one of these things where if we can go pick barrels, do fun stuff and bring our friends with us, why the hell not, right? I genuinely believe that these two bullet picks are the best two picks that we've put out so far. These picks are gonna be released either next week or the week after to our patrons. Go check out our Patreon, come hang out over there, lots of extra content, stuff like that. 
Thank you guys for being a part of this community. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch the video. Thanks for hanging out with us. We appreciate the shit out of you guys. Oh, there we no, go. That's better. better. That's why we bought a 16. Yeah. So we picked the barrels. We smoked cigars. We drank we the whiskeys. That. Now that. we're going to continue the trip, but this is going to be the end of this, this, this the video. the end of this video. Yeah. Dummy. Sean's stupid, dude. I know how to make movies. You ever seen the Avengers? They called yeah. me Captain America in it. I don't know if you guys saw it. So thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Brandon, for helping us do the pick. Thanks, Ryan, obviously, for organizing it and taking care of everything, dude. Chris is inside. I'd say thank you to him because he's the only one besides me that picked the right barrel. Wrong. So we're going to have two picks from this like we just talked about. We love you guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Definitely do that. Okay, the vampire in, in the shade, weirdly. Didn't see him in the sun ever, did you? Damn. That's exactly how it works. <laughs> love you guys.